Now sum number 15. Now they have given in a trapezium ABCD. Segment AB is parallel to CD and BD is that is this uh, B, A, uh, AC. Segment AC is perpendicular to a, a, a BC. Yeah, segment a, AC is perpendicular to BC. That means this is 90 degree. And similarly, segment BD is perpendicular to AD. That means this is 90 degree. So, in order to find out, and AD is already given. AD is equal to 15 and BC is equal to 15 and AB is equal to 25. Now, in order to find out the area of this trapezium, we need a uh, formula is what? Half into, into CD plus AB into height that is either you can take CF that is this one or DE any one you can take. So you need the information value of CF that is this and CD these two are missing so we will first find out these two. So CD we are not having and CF also we are not having. Now there are two triangles any one triangle you can take that is uh, A, C, B this right angle triangle you can take this is 15 and this is 25 you can find out the value of BC similarly or uh, the other triangle also you can take that is this is 90 degree this is B this is C and this is A so there are two triangles over here it is D I'm sorry D so a, D, B. This is also right angle triangle and this is also right angle triangle. Over here A, D is 15 and over here B, C is 15. A, B is 25. Here also is A, B 25. So any one of the triangle you can take and find out. No need of finding out. If you take this triangle A, D, B, then you can find out the height D, E or take this triangle and find out the height C, F. Both the heights is not necessary. Now whatever I have shown in red color is uh, comes under construction. That means you have to draw perpendicular a d e d e on a b and c f on a b depending upon whatever triangle you are taking you can either find out d e or you can find out c f so let us take now triangle a c b in triangle a c b angle a c b is equal to 90 degree given therefore by pythagoras theorem uh, 90 degrees here so the opposite side is a b so a b square is equal to uh, BC square plus AB square by Pythagoras theorem. Now AB is how much? 25 square is equal to BC square is how much? 15 square and not AB square, AB square plus AC square. 15 square plus AC square which we have to find out. Bring this 15 square on this side what you will get? 25 square, AC square is equal to what? AC square is equal to 25 square minus 15 square that is equal to 625 minus 225 that is equal to 400. Therefore, AC will be equal to what? A root of 400 that is equal to 20 units. So, we have got the answer of AC that is 20 units. If you find out this triangle then you will get BD is equal to 20 units. It is same only it will come. Now, uh, now we have studied last year that if you take, uh, not last year in earlier class you have studied if it is a right angle triangle. Then there is two way to find out the area of this triangle. One is half, this is a height AB which forms the right angle and base will be BC. Or you can if you draw a perpendicular from here then it will be half, uh, height is base is what AC and height is what BD. So in both the ways you can find out the area of triangle. Similarly over here area of triangle ACB, area of triangle ACB is equal to what half into the sides which form the right angle that is this is a, a side that is BC and AC. So that is a side which form the right angle so AC into BC. 
and the other area of triangle is what triangle ACB is equal to half into this one this triangle so base height is what CF into base is what AB the CF is standing on AB so base is AB now since both are area of the same triangle that is the left hand side is both same only so the right hand side also has to be same therefore half AC into BC is equal to half into CF into AB now half and half will get eliminated so what will remain AC into BC is equal to CF into AB now what is AC AC we got just now 20 20 and what is BC BC is what 15 CF we have to find out into AB is how much 25 keep the CF alone CF is equal to 20 into 15 upon 25. 5 4s are 5, 5s are 5 1s are 5 3s are so 3 into 4 is equal to how much? 12 units. So we have got now CF. CF already we have got that is height we have got CF is equal to 12 units. If you find out from here in this triangle you will get DE is equal to D is also height and DE will get 12 units. Now we will take the smaller right angle triangle. That is this one CFB in triangle CFB. angle which is angle which is 90 degree that is F so angle C F B is equal to 90 degree what you will write construction we have drawn that construction perpendicular so that is why it is 90 degree therefore by Pythagoras theorem this is 90 so B C square is equal to C F square plus B F square Now what is BC 15 square is equal to CF we had already got CF is equal to how much 12 so 12 square plus BF square therefore BF square is equal to what 15 square bring the 12 on this side it will become minus so 15 square minus 12 square that is 225 minus 144 that is equal to 81 therefore BF is equal to how much root of 81 that is equal to 9 units so we have got this 9 units similarly AE also is 9 units because both are similar I told so both the ways you can find out either if you find out AE BF will become 9 so therefore AE is also similar to Similarly, AE is also equal to 9 units. Similarly, AE is equal to 9 units. Now, if you see AB, what is AB made up of? AB is equal to, it is made up of 3 parts, AE, EF and BF. AE plus EF plus BF AB is equal to AE EF and FB what is AB equal to 25 how much is AE AE is equal to 9 plus EF we have to find out and BF is also equal to 9 therefore EF is equal to how much 25 minus 9 plus 9 is how much 18 so 25 minus 18 is equal to how much 7 units so EF is equal to 7 units now if you look at this quadrilateral CD is parallel to AB that is already given CD is parallel to AB given 
therefore CD is also parallel to instead of AB we will take EF EF and DE is also parallel to CF reason what you'll write perpendicular drawn drawn on the same line now if you see these are the two perpendicular which is drawn on the same line therefore it has to be parallel therefore quadrilateral DEFC is a parallelogram because both the sides opposite sides are parallel to each other therefore now opposite sides are congruent to each other therefore CD should be equal to EF therefore seg CD is equal to seg EF why? Because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. EF is equal to how much? 7 units. So, therefore, CD is also equal to 7 units. So, now we have got both the values. CD is equal to 7 units and CF is equal to 12 units. So, we have got height. So, we can find out the area of trapezium. Area of quadrilateral ABCD is how much? is equal to half into sum of the parallel sides into height so that is equal to half into sum of the parallel side is what CD plus AB into height is how much CF so that is equal to half into CD is how much 7 and AB is how much 25 into height is how much uh, height is 12 is equal to 12 now when you cancel this you will get 6 so that is 7 plus 25 is equal to how much 32 into 6 Therefore, area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to how much? 32 into 6 is how much? 192 square units.